morning, Shane. Thank you for joining me. I'm really grateful. Yeah, cheers, Murray. It's good to uh, good to see you again. I've, it's been a little while, so. Yeah, it's been a little while, and uh, you know, I really appreciate you willing to take a bit of a trip down memory lane with me this morning. For for those who uh, who will look in and watch or listen, and uh, maybe moving through significant change themselves, and and then what happens afterwards, and I always find that there's this threshold between significant change and what happens afterwards, and. Uh, and, and we charted some of that together. And, and so I'm, I'm grateful for whatever you're willing to share as far as what do you remember about, you know, what, what happened leading up to our time together, what happened during it, um, whatever you're comfortable sharing. Yeah, well, the, uh, um, <coughs> what happened was I was in, just to, to, to go back, and I think the timing is, is, is what the timing was, is I was in a bit of a transition. I had moved back from Vancouver, uh, where I was the sales and marketing director for a development company there. Came back to Kelowna. Kelowna isn't quite as dynamic, uh, so that type of role didn't exist for me here at the time, and I was looking for a change. Um, I was going to look at parlaying my sales and marketing expertise uh, and find a business to purchase. And the, uh, that's not an easy exercise uh, to find the right kind of business that's at the right time, that is the right value that I could afford and that. So there was an exercise there. At the same time, I had partnered um, with a couple others to create a small uh, building slash development company of which I was the real lead on that. So those were the things that were happening. So I had a lot of transition and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. things that were going on. Um, the, I was actually in a big, I had more capital outflows than I had inflows, like maybe no inflows. Uh, so I was investing in myself. Right. And <clears throat> one of the things that I recognized was uh, that uh, great players need great coaches um, and a natural talent uh, can do amazing, but they can really reach their peak um, with a great coach and a great support network. So, you know, when we were introduced, that's where I was at is I knew I needed a coach, uh, you know, an entrepreneurial coach who could coach me through this, period of transition and help add perspective and objectivity uh, to what was happening for me. So I just, you know, it's a lonely world being an entrepreneur. Yeah. And, you know, in the, in my business that I was building, I had a couple of partners um, that were, uh, would I have handpicked them? Probably not. You know, they were, they, we were family um, and that we came together by virtue of, you know, some shared capital that we had and wanting to deploy it. And that was very, very challenging, as you recall. Um, and we talked through that. And I could tell you, actually, now I still have that partnership. Um, it's still active, not super active. And it's way healthier today than it was back then. And I would attribute a, a good portion of that to the coaching that you gave me at that time. And, you know, uh, to give me the, 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 to, so that I could approach things with the right mindset um, and that, and they didn't even know that I had a coach, like my partners had no idea. Right. We were kind of doing this over in the, on the sideline. Um, you know, it's nothing that I said to my partners, Hey, can you guys pay for this? No, it was, a, it was self-development. Yeah. to help uh, that business and, um, and to help the idea with, on the other thing I was doing, buying a business, which actually never ended up happening um, because I ended up getting back into the real estate development industry. Uh, but when you, you called me a few weeks ago to talk about this, and I was just reflecting on it. I'm sitting here as we speak in my brand new house with a pool, you know, a full-on rental suite uh, that's paying my mortgage. Uh, 
you know, healthy kids and amazing wife. And the, the, this house and that is a byproduct of the focus that I was able to garner from our time together. Right. I had this house on a vision board that I had done 10 years ago, but it hadn't happened. Right. Um, and it was steps to get there. And I guess when I did that vision board 10 years ago, I would have hoped to have gotten there in two years or three years. And it took about seven. Uh, but you came in at about, in that period of time, you came in at about uh, five. Mm -hmm. And so I think it helped uh, the focus that, that I got from working with you helped me realize on that vision. And that's just an example. And it's a, it's, you know, it's a tangible thing, but we, uh, we love where we live um, as a family and it's part of what keeps us together and, and that. So there's, that's a byproduct, I think, of some of the, of the time we spent together. Well, I, 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 I so appreciate you uh, retracing those steps and, and appreciate the acknowledgement and, and uh, right back at you. I mean, you were, my experience of you was you were just so ready. <laughs> you were so primed. And you're a guy who pours himself into what he is clear about and what he commits himself to. And uh, so my view is it was, it was just a matter of time. <laughs> it was a matter of time. And the fact that we could co-create something together was, uh, was really amazing to, uh, to lay witness to. Well, listen, and Murray, th this is the really important thing. Here's where I think, th this is the value that I think you brought to me is you're right. I'll achieve it eventually. Like whatever I'm going to set my mind to, I'll figure it out and achieve it eventually. <laughs> but go back to the timing. I just said, I, you helped me accelerate that. Right. Probably, probably two times, maybe three times. Um, and that's how do you place value on that, on achieving your goals two or three times faster? Uh, that's where I think we, uh, where I think your help and your coaching, um, you know, really helped me. Well, excellent. I'm, uh, so I'm obviously thrilled to, to hear that. Do you mind me asking for those sort of looking in on our conversation? Uh, what, what was it like working together from your perspective? You know, what, what might they anticipate working together? Um, well, you know, you're honest, you know, I never, you know, we had tough, some tough conversations, but only because you were helping me under, uh, uncover, you know, my own vulnerabilities or uh, mental shortcomings, if you will. Um, and uh, I, I just, you know, I, I would say, you know, um, uh, accountability, right? Which is, you know, we, we all want it, but not necessarily all the time. <laughs> right. And the, uh, you know, so, uh, but I just, I just recall that, listen, in a, a entrepreneurial, being an entrepreneur is a very lonely and having someone to spend an hour chatting with about what's going on, what you're doing and how to get to the next stage what, was just invaluable. Cause there's no, because there really isn't anybody else. Uh, I couldn't have a conversation with my partners. Um, I didn't have entre other entrepreneurs that would dedicate that. I, I didn't, not they wouldn't dedicate that time to me, but I just, you know, they're busy as well. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a perspective that maybe is a little myopic. It's, you know, their industry or what have you, where it seemed like your perspective was uh, a little more global and a, a little wider. Um, and we would start wide and end, and end narrow based on my personal circumstances. And it was collaborative. It wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't directive. You weren't directing me. It was, uh, it was just collaborative. I, I just, you know, just, you know, like being a parent, Murray, you can listen to your child and hear what they have to say and come back with a different perspective because you're not the one who's in it. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah exactly. Uh, great. I appreciate, I appreciate that feedback. And I, and I really just maybe have one other question because, you know, you're, um, 
so insightful in your own right, um, as far as you know, interpersonal dynamics and and um, actualizing potential and collaboration. Any word of advice, words of advice for those who um, maybe in particular are entrepreneurial, but per per perhaps not that they're moving through uh, a similar landscape of significant change and lots of questions. Um, even less about our work together and, and just in general terms, you know, what would you, what would you say to people who are, you know, at this threshold where they sense a greater potential in them, but they have not been able to actualize it yet? Uh, well, um, first off is uh, uh, take the risk. I'll tell you uh, one of the things that comes out of our conversations and I think, I think we talked about this a lot and I think you introduced it was faith over fear, right? That's a saying that I use uh, regularly um, that uh, a lot of times you have to have faith over fear. When I have a salesperson and they're questioning the pricing and they think it's too high uh, and I know that it, that it isn't and I think the market will bear it. And I say, man, listen, faith over fear. This is one of those times when you have to have faith over fear. So making the commitment um, <clears throat> to getting help and support. Uh, and it comes in lots of different shapes and sizes. You know, I, I'm involved actively right now in a peer group, a very, very dynamic international peer group organization. Cool. And uh, <clears throat> there's some really good value there. Um, I do though question that actually an individual coach would possibly be better. Um, you know, at times an individual coach is better at times a peer group is better, right? Because they are very different. There's similar objectives, but there are, they are very different. Um, but just make that, uh, make that commitment for me, as you recall, you know, there's a financial commitment to, to working with a coach. And uh, I was like bleeding capital. Um, and so it was a big commitment for me to make that financial commitment. And I never looked back from making it. Um, the biggest hurdle was just making it initially. Uh, but I never did look back. Um, I never did look back from making it. Uh, and that was, uh, I guess that's one of the things I would say is just, you know, get, get some help, uh, it, cause it'll help accelerate you. Yeah. Excellent. So. Thank you, Shane. Uh, okay. I appreciate you coming on the call. I appreciate your generosity of spirit. I mean, really we're coming together <laughs> to be helpful to others who are moving through significant change and transition. So, um, Again, uh, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. I'm, I'm uh, really grateful. Right on, man. Yep.